Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about some MTG Finance news. So let's just go ahead and begin. Uh, Tom Wolf is at $199, so wow. Uh, makes a lot of sense. Modern season is pretty much right now and until the summertime, until Modern Master 2 or 2015 makes a release. Will Tom Wolf be in that set? I really hope so because if it's not, I could see a $250 Tamagoyf, I could see a $280 Tamagoyf. Uh, Tamagoyf will just, it's crazy to imagine a affordable format uh, that modern is supposed to be, where you can reprint the card if you wanted to, and there's not, no one stopping you from reprinting a Tamagoyf and have a card be $200 and any deck with green, which is probably over half the field, has needs a playset of Tamagoyf just as one card in that deck, as a four of in that deck. 800 bucks is not a great way to spend your money on a playset of Tamagoyf. But the, here's the catch-22, if they are not reprinted, Tamagoyf at 200 right now is low. It would just continue to go up and up and up in price. It really is kind of, it's a very bad scenario that's playing out right now where if you want to win, you have to buy four Tamagoyfs. If you want to play the best deck, you have to buy four Tamagoyfs. And a lot of people say, oh, what about this rogue deck? What about that rogue deck? At the end of the day, there is a reason this particular card is $200 after it was reprinted. So it's not like the card's never been reprinted before. The card is still $200 with one reprint. And that's insanity when you imagine Modern as a cheap, affordable, reprintable, uh, to oblivion format. So Tamagoyf is sneaking up. It'll probably be past $200. By the time I make this video, or by the time this video is uploaded, it'll probably have uh, increased a dollar or two more. But if you need your Tamagoyce right now, very interesting scenario to be in because I hope they are in Modern Masters 2015, but if they are not, expect Tamagoyce to be 225. Uh, expect that slow rise of Tamagoyce to continue, uh, barring the reprint. But even with a reprint, it might go up even more. I mean, it's a, such a fascinating card when you break down the price of how it's... I mean, even a reprint couldn't hurt the Tamagoyf. And I don't know, there's not many cards you can say that about. Uh, next, Doran, the Seeds. This might be Tiny Leaders. This might be the fact he's actually very good. Uh, he's always been this good. Uh, and as a tree folk, I don't know how many tree folk people are out there who are trying to make these tree folk decks, but very, very good tiny leader. Uh, he's in the correct colors. So when you play tiny leader, what I figured out is you want to be in black and you want to be in white. Black for removal and white has the best aggro creatures, which tiny leaders by definition has to be in aggro format because you're not going to play huge bombs or huge cards late into the game. So that makes sense. Uh, the other card that I should really mention that's gone up considerably in price is Snapcaster Mage. Now this card is very good. Um, it's very good for many reasons and it's only going to get better with time. Uh, there's two factors that's really, it's at $42 right now, there's two factors pulling the price up. One, you know there's no reprint at least in Modern Masters 2015. There's no chance of reprint because the reprints go up to Innistrad, but do not include Innistrad. So New Phyrexia can be reprinted, Innistrad cannot be reprinted, meaning Liliana of the Veil vale and Snapcaster Mage from 2015 is safe. That being said, Liliana of the Veil vale was supposed to be in Core Set 2014, so they could put Snapcaster Mage in a Core Set if they chose. I'm not saying that they will, and the probability is very low because of the flashback mechanism, but they could if they wanted to. Now, but they cannot put it in Modern Masters 2015, which is kind of the place that it 
naturally fits into. He's only going to get better in time, so I don't see his price dropping off. If it does drop a little bit, I, I mean, it'll stabilize above 40 because as more and more spells come are printed, he becomes better. So when you look at a card like Snapcaster Mage and you're speculating on a card like that, ask yourself, does this card get better in time? Like Lion's Eye Diamond was a, such a crappy card when it was printed because there was no Storm, there was no Dreads. But when you look at it, you're like, well, I don't know. If the mechanics change, this card could be very good. Snapcaster is a very obvious example of a card that gets better every time a new card is printed or every time a new set comes. Then you can play some janky instant or, or I mean, every single instant or sorcery that's printed makes him a tiny bit better, even if it's just for casual players. Uh, we'll talk about the two cards that have drastically declined in time, and we got to start with Ghostway. Ghostway was a card hyped up by the community. Uh, we don't exactly know. I mean, they're arguing right now. The MTG Finance community is arguing against itself of who spiked this card. Uh, regardless, this card spiked to $18. It's currently at $9 and some, like $9.25. So it's gone down half. One of the factors, I mean, you should definitely avoid this type of speculation because there's no basis for the speculation outside of some random dude has a deck and it might be good. Let's all go ahead and buy it. And when you go ahead and buy, somebody's buying this card for $17 or $18. And I don't know what to tell you guys, except a lot of times people who are, the people who have Ghost Way stored up and have purchased it for like, I don't know what started at. Let's say it started at $4. They're the ones hyping this card up. They're the ones trying to sell it to you for $19 or $18. Because by the time you get your card for $18, or let's say you buy a card for $10 and it goes to $18. Well, you're kind of stuck right now because you cannot sell it for $18 because you just got it. Um, so one of the... I, I, I hate this type of speculation, Ghost Way, where it just... And there's so many examples of it. It doesn't make any sense. It's not a good card. It's not an $18 good card. Elspeth. Um, so we're going to end the note on the note of a princess who's going to be reprinted. She's currently at almost $17 even now. You can expect her price to go down even more as more and more supplies open. I mean, if the whole box costs 20 bucks, and you might say, oh, the artwork on the, the artwork on the, the dual deck is better in my opinion, and it's foil, uh, and Elspeth's going to rotate out soon, and she's not played in modern or legacies, Lots of factors make holding Elspeth at $17 not reasonable right now. So if you can get her, get rid of her in trade at $17, that is fantastic. But I would imagine every single week she will keep going down and down and down until rotation. And when rotation hits, uh, very few Planeswalkers survive rotation. Very few. Um, so that's the MTG Finance News for today. And yeah. Bye.